In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a graduated wash, allowing you to choose from custom presets or actually customize the gradient yourself. You can download this image and work along at the link below, totally free. And I'm going to show you how to make this image look like this one, or this one, or this one. How about that one? Infinite possibilities. So what's the question? Are you ready? It's Photoshop time, and you know the drill. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack. That's awesome! What? So once you have this image or your own image open in Photoshop, all you have to do, only place you can find this, by the way, is at the very bottom, the fourth icon over, the half black, half white circle, which is to create a new fill or adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click on it. And remember when I said everything found in here can also be found up here with these visual icons? There are three that can't. And there's the three at the top, solid color, gradient, and pattern fill. I'm going to come up to gradient, choose it, and I have options. This is the default black to transparent. I can choose the directionality from linear. I can make it radial. I can change the angle, reflected, diamond. And right now, again, it's black to transparent. So that's why it's affecting the image the way it is. So I'll go back to linear. And I can also change the angle of the gradient. I can spin it around if I want it to come from the top. I'm going to click OK. So looking at this, you're wondering, well, this doesn't look that great. Well, got to do a couple of things first. Let's go up to the layer blend modes and go all the way down to color color because that's all we want to apply is the color. So now you can see how it's actually stripped out the color because it's got the black gradient. So double click on that icon for the gradient fill adjustment layer and then come to the drop down arrow right beside the gradient. And you notice you have a basics choice, which these are your default basics. But notice you've got a lot of other folders, blues, purples, pinks, reds. Oh, yeah. All you've got to do is click on them and choose each color to see which one you like the best. This is a very quick way to use one of the gradient presets. Let's toggle down to pinks. And it will quickly give you a visual idea of where your images could go without you even thinking of it. Really opens up the possibilities that you may not even have considered. Go down to greens, click OK. So you see how powerful that is. There's so many presets in there that you can use to really add a unique look to your image. Now here's the thing. What if you want to make your own custom one? Wait, there's a bonus tip. Again, just double click on the icon for the gradient fill adjustment layer. It's gonna bring up this gradient fill dialog box. Instead of clicking this downward pointing triangle to open the gradient picker, click somewhere on the gradient itself. Just a single click works. And look what it does. It opens up the gradient editor. And now I can come down here and create my own custom colors. Actually, I'm gonna make this one black. Click OK, I'm gonna click on the very front one. Click on the color icon. I'm gonna make this one white. Okay, so now I've just essentially created a gradient map, remapping the tones to black and white. But if you come underneath that gradient bar, see about where I am, about where these other color stops are, and click, and then I can, and I've just added a new stop. So now I can double click on that, and it will open the color picker, allowing me to say I wanna make all the dark tones blue, maybe not that saturated, something like that. And then I can click over here and double click on it to open the color picker again. And I can either choose a lighter blue for those, or maybe I can go to the warms. And then you can change the distribution of them by dragging them, giving more importance to one over the other, or minimizing them by pulling them this way, making the colors more subtle. I can click OK, click OK. And that's all you have to do to add a custom gradient wash to your images. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.